Hi, my name is Zai. I've been playing Quake for over 7,235 days, and I've reviewed over 100 mice, probably all of them. So you can trust me, everything I say is 100% fact. I'm not some random noob. These skills are because I'm currently the most famous active Quake player in the world. Every Quake player knows who I am. I think. Yeah, pretty sure both know me. Today, I want to talk about a few mice. So we'll jump into some games and see how they play. Then I'll give some thoughts on each. Alright, starting with the Zowie EC2A White. I actually do really like this one. One of my favorite mice of all time. My only problem with it is that I can feel it here, 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 and here. I like a mouse where it just feels like it's part of my hand, so I'm not a real fan of the overall feel. But I can seem to sort of aim with it. So that's the main thing. Oh, but I died there, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm just going to keep on playing, and if I can do something good with it, then I'll give it a recommendation. But otherwise, maybe not. Oh, look at that. I just died, and I had quad. It's a really bad sign for a mouse, if I'm honest. You should never die with quad. Suicide? Not sure about this mouse after all. Okay, maybe it's alright. Mmm, dying. See, if a mouse doesn't allow you to play well, it's clearly the mouse. So you want to get one that pretty much you never die with it. And the fact that I'm dying this much really doesn't reflect well on this design. I mean, maybe it's just a sensor. We have been talking about Zowie upgrading their sensors a lot. Unfortunately, it didn't do too well with the EC2B, it had coil wine. And, you know, I mean, if you hold the mouse up to your ear and you hear a whine, how are you meant to play like that? That just doesn't seem right, so definitely don't get the EC2B. I would recommend the EC2A still, because at least it's quiet. Miss, miss, miss. Wow, the tracking is really bad with this. I can't seem to hit anything. This doesn't make any sense. Hang on, I'll try to get a kill. No, he's just not dying. Three of them, and I still can't hit one. Alright, you know what? This mouse is ridiculous. Forget it. New mouse. So we tried the Razer Mumbo Wireless. Heard good things about Razer, so... Should be good. Just can't seem to hit anything. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just having a bad day. Almost. Got a few hits. 2,000 damage, okay. This mouse is doing slightly better. Okay, victory is ours. Looks like this mouse is good. Very nice. Alright, let's do some railing. This will tell me if I can do the sniper stuff. It's alright, missed a couple of times, that's okay. Almost. Alright, well that's a worry. Should have got one hit there. Alright, never mind. Mouse is still good. I got this. Okay, almost. Alright. Last chance, I'll just get the railgun again. It's a really good test for a mouse, especially if you want to play Counter-Strike. If I can't rail with it, you probably won't be able to play Counter-Strike with it. So, I'm just testing to see if this is a Counter-Strike mouse. And right now, I don't think... Okay, maybe it's not for Counter-Strike. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I just ran out of ammunition. Alright, you know what, forget it. It's not a Counter-Strike mouse. If you're a Counter-Strike player, I do not recommend this. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think I'm just having a bit of a bad day. You know, you can't blame yourself too much for these things. They happen. Just take a deep breath, relax, and you should be okay. Alright, I got it. I won, see? Where did I come? First? No? Second? Alright, third? Alright, so I've changed the Logitech G903 because I really wasn't doing well with the other mice because they're so bad. And this one should get me all the kills I need. 
so I can make this highlight video and you guys can all say I'm awesome. Deal? Look at that rocket jump. Perfect. Perfect. Uh oh. Wait a minute. What? No. Okay, hang on. I'm good at rocket jumping. Alright, what I want to do here is get quad so I can make the awesome comeback. I'll just wait here for protection. Alright, I missed out on protection, I'll just wait here for quad. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. What I come this time? Fourth again? But I rocket jumped perfectly. This game makes no sense. Alright, I quit. I need a break anyway. Have to eat something. Here's a test so you know what that sounds like. As far as sensors go, you won't really tell the difference, so I'm not sure why you even care. But for the sake of argument, uh, yeah, it turns side to side, goes up and down. Uh, oh, it even goes diagonally. Look at that. Okay, I'm sold. This sensor is amazing. Uh, if you zoom in, yeah, it still tracks side to side, up and down, and diagonally. Yeah, yeah, got it. There it is. So, great sensor. I don't know why I'd want any different to this one. Here's the line test, so you can see there's no jitter, angle snapping, or skipping. It didn't work as a rattle for this song either, so build quality seems fine. Now, a word from my sponsor. Are you bad at games? Want to be pro but just can't seem to aim? Introducing the Final Mouse Ultralight Phantom, the best mouse you can't buy anywhere. This mouse is so light it defies gravity, with a cable that feels like a meta to antimatter twin. Don't just get any mouse, get Final Mouse. The end game is now. It's number two on my list though because I shield for Logitech. But I use the FK2 personally because Zowie paid me to. So really, that's the best mouse you could buy and everyone should use it. I guarantee your accuracy, your comfort, how your hand feels, your love life and even your student loans will see an increase if you buy this mouse. So I hope that helps. Use your links in the description if you want to help support the channel. And a big thanks to all the companies that let me shield for them. As always, subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.